Hello and welcome to WSRT Radio. Today is with me is Aisha, Tamara, and Jennifer. And today I'll be starting off with a topic about childhood obesity. Uh, a new government report and five evidence of a national decline in childhood obesity health officials said Tuesday in 18 states there were at least cite declines of obesity for low-income preschoolers. Previously, national statistics now obesity rates have been raising for decades and recently were intentionally flat Although some places have reported environment, environmentals like Philadelphia and New York City and the state of Mississippi, but no report from the central of, of the cease and central contention show signs of waiter um, ranging environment. Now, for the first time, we're seeing significant decrease in child, childhood obesity. National, um, nationally said Thomas, uh, Dr. Thomas Frederick, CDC director, still I'm in a, one of eight preschools are obese. In the United States, and are even more common in Black and Hispanic kids. Preschoolers who are overweight or obese are five times more likely than other children to have heavy as adults, which greater risks of high cholesterol, high blood pressure, asthma, and even more mental health problems. I don't know. That's all I got. Aisha's next. Wait. So. You're yeah, saying it's you're saying it's less common now, or it's it's less common, but in for 18, kids to be obese now, I'm yeah, surprised about that. Because in New York and other 18 states, they have changed the uh, eating habits yeah, and putting York, healthy stuff in, yeah. and putting more exercises in. But uh, mm-hmm. still, one out of eight schools in the United States have obese children who are are trying to help from mental illness. Yeah, many are trying for like healthy chefs and like taking the vending machines out, but it's not really working. Some school people, though. Yeah. No. yeah. I know um, Michelle Obama. Oh, uh, Michelle Obama. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, um, she was trying to she was trying to start something to get kids, like, moving, like, get kids active. Yeah. yeah. And I, I never heard, like, reports, like, if that really... Oh, wow. That really, <laughs> um, I never heard anything about, like, about... Sorry. <laughs> I never heard anything about, like, the outcome of that, like, what happened after that like if it really worked out and stuff so, yeah. actually have Aisha for making me go first Wait, no offense this like, a, like we're so deceptive I remember in my Wait. old school they used to like give out like brownies and like all this junk food and a lot of people gain weight like yeah, a lot, and then yeah. I don't know they just cut it off. No brownies, no think, junk food, nothing. I think in most schools, in North Bergen, they have like a snack bar. Yeah, no. but it's really bad. That's disgusting. It's really bad. It's really nasty. Because like most kids are accustomed to like eating like yeah. candy and like I don't know soda and juices like stuff like that, and like when a parent or like a, a chef like gives them like a fruit, they like immediately like repulsed by it for some mm-hmm. reason. I don't know. I think it's their lifestyle. And I feel like. Uh, Cause I remember like how it used to start off like you just bring your food to school whatever. Yeah. Then all of a sudden, uh, uh, <laughs> I remember like um, you used to just bring your food to school or whatever. And after a while, like the more the more older you get, they give you more options where you get to go out for lunch. And a lot of kids, they see their friends doing it, they yeah, want to do it's it cool, too. Yeah. yeah. But and it's like it's not cool mm-hmm. when you have heart disease in the side. So. <laughs> yeah. So I think I don't know. I feel like parents should also control like help their kids out at yeah. least yeah like you see your kids coming home like but i think it's you see them like gradually getting I th- bigger i think it's like an influence from their parents as well because mm-hmm. the parents don't sometimes, eat yeah. healthy yeah. as well sometimes the parents you like look at the parents and they're yeah i used to be really like really, really chubby in like middle really? school really yeah pictures? i was uh, yeah <laughs> no not on me but uh i do have pictures when i was really chubby was it just like baby fat and just went away or no it was fat Oh, wow. <laughs> you, you lost it by, like, eating healthy? I lost it by, like, just going outside more. Oh, wow. Stop I didn't staying know that home. Wow. And now my mom wishes I was fat again because now I don't stay home a lot. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's. Wait. So, how did you wind up losing? You just. Uh, eat more vegetables. <laughs> I know it sounds like a cliche, <laughs> I can't but. I imagine you it, eating it's, vegetables. It's, it's true. I used to eat more vegetables and went out more. Play baseball, basketball. <laughs> it was hard. <laughs> <laughs> now it's Aisha's turn again. 
So <laughs> we just like mine is more serious now. All right, should I put on something else? All right, now it's Jennifer's turn. <laughs> It's okay, things. my topic will be the allowing bones. What? No, I'm not sure. So, um, do you have any facts on on like the statistics of like like each state or like country? Uh, California was worst at nearly seventeen percent really? child obesity. California. I would not think that because they like have so a lot like, to do. Like, because they're like so they, active and yeah. surfing and. Uh, one of the remaining forty states, eighteen showed uh, the least slight of an improvement. Uh, Nineteen, no significant change. Colorado, Pennsylvania, and Tennessee increased. Uh, from two thousand three to two thousand ten, significant decline. Um, Decrease in preschool obesity were seen in uh, in only nine states, and increase were seen in twenty four states. What's the budget? I got it. Let me see. I don't know. You seem to have a lot of information <laughs> there. Yeah, Come on you now. Have, yeah. <laughs> in a population based sample of five of five to seventeen year olds, seventy percent of obese youth had at least one risk of factor of uh, obese. Yes. I don't know. I blame the internet. Are most yeah. of these statistics kids who are from genetics? Yeah, mostly black and Hispanic. No, no, no. Like, is it from oh. their family, like the genes, no, or no. is it just? I never. It comes from like the way they're eating lifestyle. Yeah, eating lifestyle. Okay. <laughs> wow. Like you um, I don't and... know if you guys heard of the um, the kid named Terrio. No. The, the, the ooh, have. kill him. Yeah. Oh, yeah, him. <laughs> he's, like, he's, like, really big, but he's getting bigger. Really? He's getting big. You could tell. And they're putting him in tight clothes. Like, he's actually getting, like, a, like, a little, like, media attention now. Mm-hmm. So he has money now. And he's, like, getting bigger and bigger, and it's scary. It's, like, I feel like his parents are doing it on purpose because it's funny. How like, old is he? Um, I forgot. I think he was, like, Six or five. Are you serious? He's a, That's he's huge. It's like, dangerous. Yeah, and we like everyone's coming up with these theories that their parents are like, his parents are really like stuffing like food on him. Like mm, it's terrible. It's really bad. And there's this um, there's this vine, and it's of him and his father. His father's kind of big too, so mm-hmm. maybe it's the genetics thing. But like, it seems like he's like this is, this is really weird. He's like rubbing his stomach, but he's like laughing. Like it's funny. It's like your child's face. Yeah, fake. that's a problem. Yeah. Like it's not a joke. It's not. Yeah. It's not a boy dog. Wrap it up. <laughs> we are. Let's wrap it up, guys. Okay. So no one else is to go? Just me? Separate shows. Wow. Messed up. <laughs> <sighs> so this is the Vision T Radio. Once again, I have Aisha, Tamara, and Jennifer, and me as the host. And goodbye, America. <laughs> <laughs>